something else about him because you can you can still be like have a type a attitude like that and still kind of be a dick and still be a visionary and still work your ass off but still not be steve jobs you know like what else was it that's what that's what that's what i was trying to ask i think some of it is a weird marketing thing where he was able maybe, maybe it is the um compression of somewhat geeky technology into a very mass market and that storytelling of being able to funnel that into people um, yeah because he made a sect of technology much more applicable to a wider audience yeah you're, you're like the conduit of evolution basically like that yeah and he like especially with like movies too movies? with like animation computer oh. animation he just saw something he was like I yo let's study. make this Pixar let's make this bigger there was there was a really cool article about um i think the guy who he, he did something with pixar he like literally made pixels i think <laughs> or something cool like that there's a, there a small little article but the uh the the urge to have Pixar as as the next after Apple is very interesting. More motion, based, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying. It's crazy because like, remember he was all about like, yo, we're gonna fucking move the human race forward with personal computing technology, mm -hmm. and then that falls through with Apple. But he still kind of does it with Next. But he's also like, I also want to make movies now. That's what I find interesting. There's there's a, there's probably like a root of human emotion or something. My friend was telling me, I don't know how true this is, that he could have had a procedure to save his life, but like it was just so awful of a procedure. He was like, nah. But then I but then she said that he like changed his mind last minute, but like it was too late. <laughs> yeah. But well, like what a tale. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a horrible procedure where they like what remove a, four a, of your what organs. What a good story that is. Maybe, but... maybe he really just was, he loves stories. <laughs> and that's, I, I do also think that's a very pivotal part. Like that's what I've nurtured some of my identity towards is like that conduit of information to story to mass market.